Okay, here we are. Uh, about your dance career, you did almost everything from uh, performing, uh, studying, uh, directing, uh, teaching. Uh, what if there's a, something that uh, you bring with you in all these uh, steps, uh, or something that you are looking for, that something make you change? Uh, Something that makes me change. I'm not quite sure what you mean. Something that makes me... The, the reason I've gone on the pathway I've gone on, what I've been looking for. Um, okay. Maybe, maybe, can I turn the question around? So what, what's important for me now? Sure. Uh, after reflecting back on all I've done. Yes, <laughs> perfectly. Is, is, um, is making connections with people. Um, and actually that really relates also to making connections in the body. So I'm really interested in how the body connects and then how people connect. Um, and I'm really interested in working with people that I enjoy being with <laughs> rather than people I don't enjoy being with. Um, yeah, that for me feels really integral now, that to be in a process with people who I really enjoy spending time with. And now you're also approaching uh, the, the disability. Mm. Uh, what I know it's, uh, it's a new approach, uh, uh -huh. but uh, what uh, uh, do you find uh, about dance uh, in uh, this new approach? Um, I've just done a very, very small amount in this area with people with Parkinson's, so I don't have a great experience. But for me, it feels what I love is um, the generosity and the openness of the people in those classes um, and the, the spirit. There's a lovely sense of community within the group um, and it's wonderful to feel that you can, you can be sort of instrumental in, in sort of supporting a buoyancy of spirit within a group of people. Um, and I, I just really enjoy, I, I get a lot from, from them. <laughs> um, and so it's lovely to be able to feel that you give, but you receive. Um, it's not that I want to receive, but it's, it feels very sort of two-way. You, you give and you receive, whereas a lot of the time when I'm teaching um, <laughs> in, in institutions, and people train in training or education, um, it's sometimes a, a little narrower. People aren't so generous with what they um, experience, I suppose. Mm. Usually, uh, what do you teach the most? Uh, what do you teach the most? Uh, right usually? now, uh, generally, um, I guess I don't. I'm not teaching so much um, a class. I'm more involved right now in working with. Um, Creativity um, and composition. Um, so I'm not I'm not moving so much, but I'm more sort of mentoring and proposing and um, inviting discussion amongst students in relation to the work they make and giving tasks and ideas for creativity. And uh, during this festival, the emotion. Uh, which are your impression? If have you received something? Um, gosh, I, f I feel a bit overwhelmed by all the work I've seen, and yet, um, and and there does seem to be a real theme within the, the week. Um, and I'm not. I, I sort of feel like I need to go away and reflect on it, but. There's obviously a lot of thought. I, f I, f I feel thought is alive in the spaces. And what's very particular for me is the spaces <laughs> that you go and see all this work in, in this, in this community, because the, the buildings, the architecture, just, I could almost sit in there and not have to see any dance. <laughs> I could just sit and just absorb the, the atmosphere and the quality 
buildings, and that feels like it gives a resonance to the work as well. But the work feels very, very thoughtful. Um, and I, I guess I'm, I'm not always feeling um, drawn, completely consumed by it. I feel like I can sit and observe. I, will, I always feel quite separate. On a, on a couple of occasions, I feel drawn in, but a lot of the time, I feel that, that I'm sort of just observing. And I'm not sure what that's to do with. <laughs> Thank you.